I think it's really important to start with data. Data is about people and progress. One of the most valuable assets that Netflix has is data itself. Data is an important part of understanding problems. We have so much technology that collects data now. It's not rocket science. Good data doesn't lie predict the future. We didn't know that until we had a piece of data. It's really just improvements in a very old way of, of looking at the world. I'm not a data expert, but I'm definitely a data advocate because I've learned and I really do believe in what it can do. Everyone talks about it. Everyone shares it. Everyone uses it. But can anyone really define what data is? In fact, data has grown so large and ambiguous, the way to clump it all together is to simply call it big data. Big data became big business for an innovative company called Netflix. This entertainment company was founded by two men who saw the DVD world evolving. Now, 20 years later, the $13.6 billion company sets the pace for domestic and international streaming entertainment. So, how do they do it? We collect information on viewing behaviors. So we know when Netflix viewers start and stop movies and TV shows. But we use that data in order to try to predict their future behaviors. Um, and again, we do this because we fundamentally believe there's value in putting a recommendation in front of you before you might realize you were interested in a thing. There's a reality to the data that's a, that's a human face and a human need. And once you connect those two things, it's very powerful. The power of data has been proven beyond the entertainment industry. City leaders like Rick Cole from Santa Monica uses this information gathering system, otherwise known as data, to serve his city. The reality is, is that data is the basis for telling a story and it's the basis for understanding a problem and understanding a problem is the basis for solving. So problem solving through understanding information. Could data be the holy grail for California's water woes? From the drought to the delivery system and everything in between, relying on one wet winter is simply not sustainable. But data is proving to stand the test of time and lead communities into the future. We're at a critical juncture in the California water industry. Data and being able to share data across California's very, very fragmented industry provides a tool so that we can meet a lot of those common sense objectives so that we can have, um, you know, get to what they call like, you know, the actual prepared scenario where we're, we're ensuring a reliable water supply that people, you know, take for granted and is very mission critical because, you know, water is life. You don't got that, um, it's tough to live. But water you drink and touch and feel. Data to some is a little bit more intangible. So how can you soak up the data? Imagine this the parallels between water and data. Similar to the physical water infrastructure, which involves extracting, treating, and delivering water to the taps of our homes and businesses. So the absence of a water data infrastructure with efficient and equitable outcomes is like expecting water to magically flow from the mountains into our homes without piping and treatment. Water and data are therefore symbiotic as they need similar infrastructures to make them work. This water data working relationship is crystal clear for June Lopez, general manager of Mult Miguel Water District. In a cohesive effort with the California Data Collaborative, Netflix, and DataKind, they took up the issue of recycled water demands for the district. At issue, the need for additional seasonal storage. The team discovered through scientific analysis of data, investing in a $20 million reservoir would not be the best way to serve their ratepayers. So we partner with Netflix and they do all these predictive modeling to forecast movie demands and to understand consumers' behavior. Well, we applied that same logic, that model, to our water use for recycled water and we're able to show usage in very detailed increments. I think that's the most powerful thing that came out of this project is that we turned data, all these numbers, these huge numbers that we're metering and monitoring into a visualization. Understanding the data changed the game for the future of MNWD, sustained the future for the city of Santa Monica, and created a future for Netflix. So is it really that simple? The big opportunity with data is that when you're trying to look at um, where are the opportunities to use water more efficiently, it's a lot of little things. It's you know a landscape conversion, it's improving how we forecast demand so that we can optimize where water goes, when and where, um, so that we can really maximize every drop. 
Um, and the data really provides a powerful tool um, to achieve that. How data can change the world and change people. I really do believe that because the more we can understand, it opens our eyes. And even the most unfamiliar, even the most uncertain things, once you can understand it better, it really creates a relationship, a deeper relationship, and that's what we're trying to do with water. It takes a little creativity on the part of the data scientists to see how a new data set translates to their existing knowledge base, but that is the job. Um, and from everything I've seen in the water world, uh, especially around smart meters, uh, there's, there's a lot of uh, old methods that can be applied to, to that field. The future is already here, it just hasn't been evenly distributed, as William Gibson said. This past decade has witnessed a revolution in how the efficient delivery of data can positively affect our lives. Many industries around the world have successfully migrated from a blockbuster paradigm to a Netflix paradigm. The water industry need not be an exception. And that is a true part of the California Data Collaborative. The word collaborative is about working together and helping each other and really making that commitment for now and into the future.